What is up guys? This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So in today's video I am going to be covering the top 3 most recommended weapon combinations to use, inside of the current state of the Battle Royale. I am going to be ranking these 3 insanely powerful highly optimized weapon combinations, based on their time to kill, and their overall versatility on the battlefield. And I am going to be showcasing you the best gunsmith builds you can get your hands on inside of the Battle Royale. Now, if this is your first time here in my channel, then be sure to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And please make sure to hit the like button below, as this helps me a lot to make contents like this for you. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting at number 3 spot, we have the easiest weapon combination to use inside of the current state of the Battle Royale. We have the M4 as the primary weapon for medium to long range engagements and we have the MAC-10 for close quarter battles. The M4 is a mid-tier easy to use assault rifle with a pretty moderate amount of damage and some great damage multiplier for medium to long range engagements. This is a pretty easy to use weapon which has a great balance of mobility and bullet spread accuracy. Also, the recoil pattern of this weapon is by far the most optimized one. While not as powerful as guns like the Odin or the AK-47, it has stronger range and slightly better rate of fire. On the other hand, we have the MAC-10. This is one of the fastest killing weapon inside of the Battle Royale. It is extremely optimized for up-close engagements. It has one of the fastest amount of rate of fire and the hip fire accuracy of this weapon is exceedingly accurate. Although it is not as accurate as the CBR-4, still, it can inflict some serious amount of damage in close quarter engagements. But there are some major downsides which come along with this weapon. The default magazine size is too low, so it is strictly not recommended to use the MAC-10 without any magazine modification attachments. Here are the best custom gunsmith builds for this easiest weapon combination, including their recommended modification attachments. All of these loadouts are highly compatible to use inside of the current state of the Battle Royale. Then, coming at number 2 spot, we have the moderate fire rate assault rifles as primary weapons for medium to long range engagements and we have pumped action shotguns as secondary weapons for close quarter engagements. Now out of all the mid-range assault rifles with moderate rate of fire, I think the AK-47 feels pound for pound, by far the most powerful and most balanced assault rifle inside of the Battle Royale. It features a high damage with very little drop-off at range, and a rather tight DS bullet spread. This allows it to outgun several other assault rifles at mid to long range. The downsides of this weapon are the rather low rate of fire, forcing the player to be accurate, and the average recoil it has. Still, it is by far the best option to use in the entire section of the assault rifles. On the other hand, we have the BY-15. This is a mid-tier pump shotgun, which deals a ton of damage in close quarter engagements, but it is slightly inconsistent than the other pumped action weapons. The BY-15 has high hip fire type pellet spread and high pellet travel range, allowing it to one hit kill enemies at very long range. However, such tight pellet spread requires players to be accurate in order to land all pellets on enemies and avoid hit markers. It has very fast RE chamber speed, which accounts for its very high rate of fire. Here are the best custom gunsmith builds for this medium tier weapon combination, including their recommended modification attachments. All of these loadouts are highly compatible to use inside of the current state of the Battle Royale. Airdrop incoming. And finally, coming at number one spot, we have the high fire rate assault rifles as primary weapons for medium to close range engagements and we have the sniper rifles as secondary weapons for long range engagements. Now, out of all the high performance assault rifles, I think the AK-117 and the BP-50 are by far the two best choices to use in medium to close range battles. The AK-117 is a moderate damage per bullet weapon, which always has been an extremely popular assault rifle in the Battle Royale, known for its high accuracy and rapid fire rate. Its versatility makes it a top choice for both close and mid-range engagements. The AK-117 has many different recoil patterns, 
which randomly takes place in each trigger pull. All patterns have overall low recoil magnitude with slight horizontal deviations. The BP-50 is a modular bullpup assault rifle, chambered with 5.56 magazine. The BP-50 can be a great alternative, as well as the greatest rival of the AK-117, which is a pretty similar option to use in the Battle Royale. This weapon can tear down the competition with a high rate of fire, and exceptional accuracy for dominating a medium to long-range engagements. On the other hand, we have the DLQ-33, which is the best bolt-action sniper rifle available inside of the Battle Royale. It has great overall dynamics, which includes decent sprint speed, good at DS speed, and a huge hitbox multiplier. Being able to one-shot knockout when hitting the upper body, this sniper rifle is one of the best choices for going longer ranges. Unlike the ZRG or the M21 EBR, the DLQ-33 deals very high damage with infinite damage range, and it is very satisfying to use in long-range engagements. Here are the best custom gunsmith builds for this unbeatable weapon combination, including their recommended modification attachments. All of these loadouts are highly compatible to use inside of the current state of the Battle Royale. The safe zone is collapsing. 